So I wanted to show you guys this really cool product. It's made by this company called ID Sonics. This is a USB sharing switch. So you can switch between Mac and PC, like what I have here. I've got my Mac for my work, I've got my gaming PC for gaming. I do do a little bit of video editing on this computer as well. Sometimes I switch between Mac and PC. Just depends on how I'm feeling at the moment. But I've been doing it the old fashioned way. I use a hub just like this one here. This is made by Monoprice. It is a 44834 six in one dual HDMI dock. So I connect my monitor to my Mac using this here. It's got dual HDMIs, power pass through, micro and regular SD card slots, dual USB 3.0, and then gigabit ethernet. But to switch between Mac and PC, I do it the old fashioned way. I unplug my hub from my PC, plug it back into this guy, and then I go back and forth. So it's been kind of a pain and I really wanted to streamline the process of going back and forth between each platform. So I'm sure there's a lot of people in the same boat here. So that's why I wanted to show you guys this product here. It's really simple, small little square device single button operation you go between either one or two so connection and operation is as simple as it gets you connect one to your mac two to your pc single usb port here connects to a usb hub and that's where you connect all your peripherals that you wanted to switch between the two computers so things like your keyboard your mouse your headset maybe an external hard drive all plug into that hub and that's how you connect your group of devices to either or computer and to switch back and forth, it's as simple as pushing that single button there. You go back between one and two, and it also gets recessed depending on which input you're at, which is really cool and handy. There's also some LED indicators on the front of the device as well. Now you might also be asking why I didn't go with a traditional KVM, and that's because today's monitors, they have auto sensing. So it auto senses when the input is active. So all I need to do is just put my Mac to sleep, push the button, and I'll go to my PC, my PC will wake up, it'll connect directly to my monitor. So let's go ahead and connect this really quick and I'll show you how that works. And by the way, if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. I make super simple solutions to complex problems just like this one here. I also work on everything in the household and automotive as well. Click on my channel, look around, I'm sure you'll find something useful. And again, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Back to the video. And this cable right here behind my monitor is my hub. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it directly to the Sonics switcher. Connect this directly to my MacBook. Going back here behind the scenes to connect this to my PC. And I'm gonna go ahead and cable management all these wires later on, but and connecting this to the back of my PC here. Let's go ahead and fire up the gaming PC. So right now, as you can see here, I'm connected to my Mac. Go ahead and go to my YouTube channel here. So as you can see, everything's working fine. There's no lag whatsoever because it's making a direct connection. Now let's go ahead and switch over to the PC. Let me show you how that looks. So all I gotta do, put this guy to sleep, push this button to connect to number two. Now it's connected to my PC. And there you go. I logged into my PC, as you can see here, boom. Instant, again, no lag, got everything here. I mean, works just fine. So I've got connected my keyboard, my mouse, my gaming headset made by SteelSeries, and I've got a little Shuttle Express editor right here. Everything's connected. Everything works just fine. No lag. It's really, really awesome, really streamlined. And I can go right back to my MacBook. All I gotta do is boom, put it to sleep. Switch over to number one. It says no signal. There it is, connected to my MacBook. Log in. Boom, back to my Mac. It's really that simple. And again, really no need for a KVM. Monitors are smart nowadays. They know which computer you're connected to. So that's pretty much it. A really simple product for a complex problem. All right, you guys, that's gonna sum it up for me. Thanks so much for watching and continuing supporting this channel. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.